there everybody, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster Warm, but built for theme park news. At least you can finally hear what I'm saying in the intro now. And welcome to a theme park news room update from Six Flags St. Louis. Now, bit of a channel update first of all. New tripod's on its way, so uh, the filming position might change a little bit. Instead of the tripod being on my windowsill, it's actually going to be in front of my windowsill. You can't see it, where I'm pointing. But, um... Yeah, so that will hopefully be coming in the next couple of weeks, so fingers crossed. Uh, that will change a little bit, improve it just that little bit more. I know people have said that the camcorder is actually better this time, so thank you very much. Um, but before we get into this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you get keep, keep getting your questions in for the next Q&A video. To celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we get that milestone. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So this is all about some plans that were first discovered on Reddit. Now you can go check them out on a uh, 2021 thread on the Coaster Force forum. However, uh, these were first discovered on Reddit and they were copied across the link onto the forum for all to see. And it was the plans for a Railblazer clone to come to Six Flags St. Louis in 2021. Now, this isn't going to be the longest video in the world, but I just wanted to sort of discuss my thoughts on the plans, basically. Uh, so, big credit goes to whoever first put the image on, but I'm going to put the image of the plans on your screen now. Fandabadorsi. Now, you tell me whether they're real or not. Obviously, I'm not going to make judgments exactly. Um, obviously, the real plans are something like what Magic Mountain did with the LA County Board that got approved. And, you know, the extended Jersey clone were looking at that park for 2021. Um, but from those plans, again, you, you tell me if you think it's real or not. I'm, like I said before, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to say either way at the minute. Um, but what I will say, this whole video is all about me just looking at those, but also my, this video is mainly about me discussing whether a Raptor is good enough for the park. Now, Raptor coasters may not be the busiest capacity coasters. It may not have the most capacity on ride. However, I think that a Raptor coaster would be a good fit. Now, this might not be a Jersey Devil type coaster. We all know that. But I do believe that this is still going to be a good coaster. Now... Um, again, if it is true, I think that a Railblazer clone is good, uh, even though it is a clone. But I think St. Louis fans might be happy with a new coaster in general. Technically, they've gone, you know, in terms of all coasters, they've gone pretty much, you know, in next year it'll be eight years since their last coaster. And that is, of course, the Boomerang relocated in 2013 uh, from a different Six Flags park. So, you know... It, in terms of scratch coasters, like original coasters, I really don't know. Um, it, it's just, it, it's way longer, basically. But I, I can't really tell you because it's been that long since we've had a coaster from scratch from St. Louis. Even if it is a clone, don't matter. Still a new coaster. Uh, and a Raptor coaster is good because St. Louis is not the largest Six Flags park. But that kind of capacity coaster is perfect for their... Um, their target market now the plans say uh, now there's some comments on the reddit on the plans that say this that it looks like they're located on the splash boat attraction however uh the forum states that it's located that it could be located on the site of the tidal wave attraction now we know that tidal wave the shoot the shoots ride we know that's been uh, sort of closed off to the public and we know that's been sort of cleared up on site uh, we know demolishment work is already if not it should be underway uh, for that ride so I think that a Raptor coaster to replace Tidal Wave would be the legitimate solution uh, and I think that and to be fair personally I think Six Flags St. Louis is one of those parks that I think should get a coaster next year I think that they deserve a coaster we know Magic Mountain's getting one we pretty much know Magic Mountain's going to get a coaster next year um St. Louis, I think they're on my radar next year, especially with this news. Even if it is a fake plan, I still think they're going to get a new coaster next year. Um, I don't think there's going to be any more than that, to be honest. I think parts like Great Adventure that already had a coaster, of course, they're going to get, um, you know, f uh, low investments and things like that. There's rumours going around that Discovery Kingdom's coaster for this year, Sidewinder Safari, is going to get delayed until 2021. Obviously not confirmed yet, but... Uh, there's rumours that that could be delayed till 2021, so we could have another West Coast racer situation with Discovery Kingdom. The California parts can't escape them. Uh, <laughs> um, 
So apart from Discovery Kingdom with the delayed opening and Magic Mountain in St. Louis, I can't think of any other parts that are going to get a coaster in the City Flash Chain, to be honest. I think the main focus is going to be on SeaWorld and maybe a couple of Cedar Fair parks. And to be honest, I think it could be uh, the, the, the sort of independent parks or the other parks out there in the States that are going to be mainly introducing the coasters. Obviously, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, part of the SeaWorld chain, they're going to introduce a coaster. Orlando, San Diego, rumours of San Antonio getting an electric eel because they're one of the last parks in the chain to get one of these Premier Skyrocket 2s. Uh, maybe a few to a puffer fish. So, it's hard to say that. Um... So yeah, it's. I think the focus is going to be elsewhere, but in terms of the Six Flags chain, I think we're only expecting about two coasters for next year. Magic Mountain and St. Louis for me, I think, and it'll both be Raptors. It just depends what the other parks add, so I'll be very interested to find out. But again, comment down below, do you think these plans are real or not? Again, I really don't mind if you think they're not. To be honest, I'm 50-50. I'm not going to say whether they are or they're not until we get some concrete evidence that a Raptor is coming uh, or some kind of coaster is coming. If the Tidal Wave site or the Splash Boat site is closed off to the public uh, upon the park's reopening, uh, then I would suspect that a coaster will be coming. If we see some early teasing or if we see some marker work while the park is closed, uh, at St. Louis on site and they sort of tease a bit with some markers on site saying well, what's going on behind closed doors etc uh, then we can start to think that St. Louis could finally get a new coaster from scratch next year uh, so there we go so thank you very much for watching this little update from Six Flags St. Louis on their Raptor coaster rumours uh, like I said a Raptor coaster would be good for the part but again we're not going to judge whether they're real or not these plans I just, you know they were on Reddit then they were on the forum I wanted to do a video on it, and again, comment down below what you guys think of this. So, thank you very much for watching this theme park news update. Please like, comment, subscribe, and for now, guys, I'm Coaster Charlie, YouTube channel. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you in the guys in the next video very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel, all about the football stuff called Chal, in the description down below as well. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.